Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is episode 24 of your MLB franchise mode here with your Toronto Blue Jays. In today's episode, uh, well, in the last one, I mean, we got our asses handed to us and man, we did not have a good year. We were 78-84 and we finished third in the division and a long ways out from a wild card spot this year. We just were not the team that we were last year. We struggled in every bit of category. I mean, we were a good hitting team. Just our bullpen was just utter shit. And overall wise, we need to really retool this team. And what do I mean by that is going through and just practically changing up every person that we could possibly change up. Get because I mean, the way that our team is, we're a budgeted team. We do not have the money like most teams have. And with Bo Bichette coming in and wanting that, that moolah that's going to be coming in next year, I think we're going to have to trade away our Canadian boy and Tyler Hunil, who's been a man-man for us in the past couple of years, who's really became into a big superstar. But I think this year we're going to have to go through a little bit of a change, and he's going to be one of the guys that's going to be going out as we're just going to resurface the entire team. We're going to change up everyone uh, in the entire, just from the, the, the staff to everyone. We are going to be changing up everything in the Toronto Blue Jays because, honestly, we need to win a fucking championship here soon. We were so close, and as a team like us, we cannot be risking having a, a moment of, like, why why didn't we make it to the playoffs? I think, the first of all, Dave Roberts is a perfect coach for us. I think that's a guy that we go for right off the get-go. You pay him $9 million for the next three years. I think Dave Roberts is a guy that we go after. He's a veteran coach, perfect guy for the team. Hitting coach, we can go after a good player. Uh, Brad Osmus, I would definitely go after him. Three years, $2 million for Osmus. Um, pitching coach, we're going to need a good one. So Tony Rodriguez, yes for you. Uh, $1.5 million for the next three years. Hopefully he signs with us. Uh, first base coach, uh, Darren Balsley. Yes to you because you look like a bloody good uh, guy. It's Darren Balsey, first base coach. Third base, uh, third base, we go with Brandon Reed. Be him 1.4. And then our scouting, our farm director, which we're going to be looking for a good one as well. And Charles Sedan, uh, Saldana, 1.9 for the next couple of years to be our farm director. So let's get to free. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, stop the simulation. I forgot to sign some. Do we need to sign any of these guys? Practically no, because Ryan Baraki, we're just going to get rid of. I mean, he had a decent year, but I think it's time to go after someone new. He's getting older. Hell to break everyone. You can just lead the fucking team. So we didn't get that manager, right? No, we didn't. Okay, so Devon Park. No, we need someone. That, I want someone with experience. I want someone with some fucking experience from being a manager. Daryl Oliver. Zero zero, Brent Nielsen, two hundred six, two hundred eighty. I mean, he's been a rough coach. We're pro Aaron Boone. I think we could go with him. I mean, two postseason, one championship. Aaron Boone. I think we go with you, buddy. We're gonna go with you. Three years, five point two million dollars. I think we're missing out on a couple other people as well. Hitting coach. Yeah, we still got Brennan Osmus there. Pitching coach, we do not got any pitching coach right now. So, Daryl Kuzma, uh, 1.5 to you. Uh, first base coach, we don't, oh yeah, we got Brendan Reed and Daryl Balsey, so we're good. In that department, so hopefully we get those guys on the team. Brandon Osmus has accepted as a hitting coach. Same with Daryl Kuzma. Aaron Boone will be our uh, head coach, Brendan Reed. So hopefully Aaron Boone can change this team around a bit. And that's what I'm really hoping he can do is really make this team the type of team that I need it to be at its, at its, at its fullest. Um, so uh, we we need to definitely sign or put uh, Ken Iwaguana. Uh, we got a pretty good amount of players that we're going to have to put on that 40-man roster. So Ken Iwaguana, we got to put him on there. Also, uh, Novara uh, as well um, for starting pitcher wise. So, I mean, oh, what the fuck? He's added to the 40 man list. Caesar Pinto. 
Man, we're going to have a lot of things to do this one. Caesar Pinto, uh, yes, we're going to keep you on the team because you could potentially be a good looking for or a good looking catcher for us in the future. Clarence Asby, uh, yes, add you to the 40 man roster. Luis Baez, relief pitcher, yes, add you. We need to really start uh, getting some uh, guys going for us in that, that uh, bullpen for developing wise. I mean, we just have not been getting very lucky with the bullpen. I mean, we're definitely going to really go all out on the bullpen this upcoming year. We're going to get a lot of good uh, bullpen guys because that's going to be the first thing that I'm going to focus on this year is just getting that bullpen uh, together. Now, Blake Rutherford, maybe we could even play him because I want to keep Philip Urban. I mean, we could definitely keep him on a, a maybe a one-year deal, right? Because he only wants, how much does Philip Urban want? If we could get him to like a one-year deal, $3.4 million, perfect for Philip Urban, right? So you sign him for one year, that's perfect. I mean, yeah, that's not very much for Philip Urban. Hans Kraus, he wants to be an ace though this year, and we're only really... He had a fucking horrible year, so I think we get rid of Hans Kraus. And Austin Slater, I feel like we just get rid of him as well. Um, how well is Blake Rutherford in, in this case? Because we might be playing him this year um, as one of our developing prospects. Did I play some what? Did I, what did I do? Oh, there's a, it's full. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, this fucking sucks. Brenny, why, why is he on here? You can remove him. I mean, you got Rafael Murano, who can also play. His arm strength is kind of shit, but I think what we're going to do is Philip Irvin can play right field because he's a good hitter. We're going to need him. Talon David can play left field. We're going to trade Tyler O'Neill to pick up someone better. Austin Slater we're going to get rid of. And Blake Rutherford can kind of be that depth guy on the 40-man roster. Uh, so I think that's the way we're going to be going there. You still got some other guys that develop in, like Lou Stocks, who could also play in that position. He's been kind of our speedier guy. Um, who else do we need to add to this? Scott Harrington. Yeah, we need to add him for sure. That's a guy that uh, is developing very, very nicely into a guy that we could possibly use here in the later future. We're just going to remove Hans Kraus because I really don't give a shit. We're going to probably lose him in the first place. And I don't feel like signing Hans Kraus, so he can just be put on waivers and hopefully he can just get claimed. Uh, Kyle Cody. Uh, as well, we're going to be putting him on. Man, we got some good fucking pitchers coming up through the shrine of the team. Um, we need to get rid of one player to get Kyle Cody back on the team. Oh, fucking hell. Eisen Diaz, yeah, we'll just remove him for the 40 man list. And we will throw in Kyle Cody. So that's a full 40 man list. So, the way that the pitching staff is going to be going this year, Joel Moosegrove, Tristan McKenzie, Scott Harrington. I mean, Scott Harrington's a man. I don't think he's going to be our starting pitcher for sure. Johnny Denny, if he's ready, I mean, his stamina is utter shit. And that's just not something I'm going to want on the team, like a 51 stamina. and needs to be up there near the 70 range to be a starting pitcher like Berdino. He's at a pretty decent So I think Perdino is definitely going to be part of the starting rotation again this year. Hopefully, he can have a better year than what he did last year. So he's going to be part of that combination of Moose Grove, Tristan McKenzie. So we need practically two starting pitchers. But let's get everyone that we need back under our, under our case. We're also going to have to get rid of Tyler O'Neill, which I think we're going to do that first. We're going to get Tyler O'Neill back off the team. So practically, what do we need? We need practically two starting pitchers. Uh, our bullpen, we got Thomas Mahone, which, so the only two guys that we're going to be keeping, Tyler Rogers can also go off the team. Uh, we're going to be also trading him because he's just a guy that I don't want. Uh, so the only two guys we're going to be keeping is Jarlene Garcia and Thomas Pahone. Those are the only two guys that are going to keep on the bullpen. That's it. Same with Philly League and got Stock. And I think we're good on the bullpen wise. We'll sign someone a free agency if we absolutely need to. Uh, Kim in the Valley, first baseman. He's been a consistent hitter for us for the past little bit. Last year, this year he kind of struggled, but 19 home runs, 80 RBIs. He was a pretty good hitter for us in the later on, and he's cheap. Uh, Ronnie Britta, 
Uh, he's a good second baseman. I think, honestly, everything else is just kind of garbage. But we do got Fernando Zuma playing in that position, so I'm not going to be too worried about uh, that position right now. So Fernando Zuma will be playing second. And then you got Vladimir Guerrero Jr. playing third base, and then Bo Bichette, and then Asil Atani, who we also got to sign. So depth players are going to be huge for us this year. Uh, Sylvia David, so practically just a replacement second baseman, and then maybe some pitchers in that mix as well. So Richie Martin, Ben Gamble, and Pablo Lopez, Luis Severino. Holy shit, Luis Severino. How much is he? Twenty-six million dollars. Who, my lord! I mean, how I would love to have him on the team, but just that amount of money for a pitcher like Luis Severino, I don't think is worth for the team that we have right now. We have a good team, yes, but Luis Severino will just hurt our cap space right now, and that's somebody that I don't think we're gonna need on the team for us right now. Andrew Benatendi. Uh, but that lower cash flow, so we practically might have to do our own scouting report. I don't want to do with any uh, Renato Lopez, uh, center fielder as well. So let's take a look at the White Sox. So they're giving us a good pitcher in Renato Lopez, but, I mean, I think we were going to have to wait to sign Lopez because, I mean, not everyone's going to be signed to contracts yet. So we're going to have to wait on Tyler O'Neill to trade him away to get, like, an actual good deal. So, we're going to sign Philip Urban to one year, not at 7 point, not at 7 mil, but we will sign him to a good $4 million contract. He will be playing every day on the outfield, so Philip Urban will be signed. Everyone else we'll just won't worry about, we'll get rid of. Uh, tender the contracts. You sell, uh, Rob Stockton, another cheap deal for him. Uh, you'll sell Otani, how much? I mean, if we can get him to like another one year, $950K million, or another $950K. Uh, dollar deal for us. I would definitely do that. 800k for you'll seal. Atani Scott Harrington. Uh, he's not having expectations this year. Ken Iguana, uh, Kyle Cody. We'll sign him to the team. Blake Rutherford. Yes, him as well. He could possibly be in that starting rotation this year. Uh, this guy's really jumped up for a relief pitcher. What's his overall? 78. He'll be definitely that somebody that will sign. Emmett Keith wants to definitely play in the bullpen this year, so Emmett Keith is definitely going to be a guy. And all everyone that's in that bullpen, like back there, we're definitely going to be using this year. And also, we're going to be signing like one old star of a guy from the free agency. Uh, Rafael Marino wants to play this year, so I think we're definitely going to probably use Marino this year. Um, but we'll sign him to 750k uh, for this year. Johnny Denny. As well, he wants to be depth-wise, so we'll sign him to a cheaper deal, 900k uh, for him. Jordan Groshans, uh, I don't know if we're going to even be playing him, so that's somebody that we might trade away in a later on deal. Uh, Adam Kloffenstein, another guy that wants to be part of the rotation. So once again this year, we're going to have a lot of young guys that are going to want to play in that rotation. We're going to have to all go through it again, uh, so we're going to have to deal with a lot of those guys. So when we come back to that... We will be dealing with all of them uh, once we get there. So, Skate, we're going to get better, someone better for that. Uh, he will be pl plateauing again. Lou Stocks, uh, Grigoro Cortez. Um, we're going to sign him to another cheap deal. Uh, we could even be playing him. I mean, if he can really smack that ball out of the park, I mean, he could definitely be someone that I would definitely look at in the later future to be playing here. Once he's able to play. Because, I mean, how, how about is his feeling? His feeling's not too bad. He would be a perfect DH for us, I think. Uh, Reno Riz, uh, Rosales. Uh, Adrian Gomez. Desmond Klein. Uh, Cesar Pinto. Uh, Claris Asby. Alfonso Delgado. One year. We'll throw, like, uh, 400K at him. Luis Baez, one year at him. Roman Rosa, one year at him. Oh, man, we got a lot of fucking... Free I hate this bullshit every single year where we have to do it every single year. You don't want to lock these guys up for too long, though, because and then they'll cost you money with the type of team we have. We just don't have the money to go out there and sign every single person that we can really get. I mean, we're really limited to the amount of money we have. So, I mean, we didn't really spend that very much money there. Now, we do need a starting pitcher, and we do 
need so so it's gonna be someone in the mid tier of a like a left handed pitcher. We're gonna really really need that type of left handed pitcher this year. Carlos Rodon. I mean he didn't do too bad for Oakland this year. That's someone to look at. You're all caught in, but we're kind of looking for someone younger to come in. I mean, Chris L is a beast, but, I mean, didn't play last year. Eric Luer, left-handed, 337. He's been doing great for Kansas City. Uh, he's 30 years old as well. Jamie Barra, he's 370, but a right-handed. Uh, Kevin Gosman, who was a right-handed pitcher, who did decently well, but he wasn't the best. Uh, Parker, but all these guys look like they're dropping. Alex Fidelio, uh, Fadio, uh, 464. This is not someone I really want to look at. Uh, and then you're kind of getting lower down there on the the, the pitching. Corey Ashwalt, three, thir uh, 386. Barack, he's down there. Uh, nothing I'm really looking at. Um, but you got Forrest Whitney. How much? He's going to probably want a lot of money, though. Yeah, eighteen million dollars. That is kind of out of my price range. How well did Kyle Wright do last year? Five twenty-three. He really struggled there for the Tampa Bay Rays after being traded away from us. I think Carlos Rodon. I mean, that's all really expensive though. Eric Luer, you got as well. How much? Fifteen fucking million dollars for a pitcher, man. Jesus. And I'm not willing to fork out that amount of money to go after a type of pitcher like that. That's the that's the thing for me. How much does Ryan Boraki want? If we could get him back for like a year, he's going to want 7 point. Oh, my God. That's, that handicaps us big time because we want to get someone that's cheaper. I think we're just going to have to wait on that case. But bullpen-wise, I'm willing to go and spend some money on the bullpen guy. Paul Fry, 318. I mean, that's someone to probably look at for us because the bullpen-wise, we got Yarlin Garcia and Thomas Pahone. And then we got Phil Egan, uh, Stockton. You got Ken Oguana, and you got Kevin and McKeith, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's that almost fits you perfectly, but we're going to be getting rid of some of these guys too. So I do want to get that all-star bullpen guy to the team, and I think uh, I think Paul Fry might be that guy to pick up for the team this year. Free agency, let's go back here. It's either that or you go after someone like Vasquez, but I think Paul Fry or Alex Reyes... I mean, he has great case for nine. If he could go out there and get us some big strikeouts, and he's done it in the past years, and he's a right-handed, which is we kind of need that right-handed, or we could use the third left-handed pitcher. So Paul, Paul, Paul Fry, we're going to go after him. We will sign him to just a one-year deal. We will sign him to $8.8 .8 million. Paul Fry, hopefully you'll be coming to the team and uh, sign up for us for a year, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, let's keep on continuing the simulation here because we're not going to be able to do very much. Alec Reyes going to the White Sox. Kevin Kramer going to the Athletics. And Hans Cross, that's fine by me. Everything will give a shit. Ian Diaz also got swiped off. Darren Balzi has an accepted Orioles have given us a trade offer. Ben Gamel, 85 overall, but 10.2. That's not the type of money I'm looking at for a player. I'm looking at somebody cheaper for our team because, I mean, that is a lot of money. A lot, a lot of money. Uh, did we get our guys that we uh, wanted? Uh, Paul Fry, he has signed with the team. So we got Paul Fry on the team, which is good, which is what we wanted. I think that's really everyone that we needed for the team as well. So Paul Fry, he's a big bullpen guy, and I'm hoping he could really perform that, be that big bullpen guy for us this year. Uh, he's going to be that guy that we're really going to rely on for the next little bit. Uh, and that's really what we're looking at this year for pitchers and stuff like that and guys that we want to get. Kyle Wright going to the Tigers. Sixto Sanchez going to the Red Sox. Of course, they got the money to go out there and sign the big pitcher, so they're going to go after him. And I think what we're going to do is if Chris Sale, for example, is out there, then that's what we're going to do is like we're going to sign kind of the, the, the slim pickings that's that's left. I mean, you got Tim Anderson. Uh, you got some decent pitchers out there. Does Euro Colton want to? No, he does not want to lower his fucking worth. But if Chris Sale, for example, like drops his rate down to like maybe five mil when he when it comes to free agent or when it comes to the start of the regular season, I would definitely do that. I don't know, fix that. Trey Turner. Um uh, no. I really don't give a shit. Uh tender contracts. Yeah, we offered everyone that we really wanted to offer contracts to, so um yeah, we offered that guy a contract. So yeah, we give him, we mostly got everyone that we wanted to offer a contract to. Uh, free agency is so good. Okay, Luis Baez. What? Wait, wait what? Why Why would you throw my fucking prospect on there? Okay. 
That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. Um, pitching wise, man, that's still like fucking rough as shit, man. We really need to fix that up. So how much money do we got? Yeah, fuck, we got nothing, man. We're just gonna practically just sim the rest of the year, and then we're gonna do uh, some slim pickings of moves here uh, with the team. We're really, Tyler O'Neill, we're really gonna uh, really hope on to be that kind of guy that we could trade away, get some assets from it. Uh, because right now we are looking pretty slim as a team. Uh, George Bonafide uh, gets picked up. Real five draft. Okay, Let's see if there's any like big all stars. That's like that's the thing I'm gonna look for is some big time all stars. See if we can find any of them. So starting pitchers, there's no nobody, no one for relief pitching, no one there. Connor Wong, we could use a uh, catcher guy. Will Banfield, Lewis. Dave Hudson, I mean, there's not very many guys that are really, really... I mean, he's not bad. He has good arm strength. He would be just a good backup overall. So Will Banfield will pick him up with our first pick. And then we'll go from there. I mean, this is this is going to be a little bit of a rough offseason, I think, this year as well. But once we clear up some cap space here, I think it definitely could be a lot brighter here on out. Uh, Jeremiah Jackson... Um, I think we almost got all my all the depth that I really want to look at. I mean, there's not very many. Ooh, that's some good fielding right there, man. That is terrific fielding. Wow. I mean, he's not really good for anything else but that beautiful fielding that he has there. Busty Reed as well has some great fielding and some decent speed. I mean, he's not the worst, but I really don't really give a shit. So let's auto draft the rest of this draft and just here it sim to arbitration hearings. Drew Ellis, eighty. Yeah, why everyone's getting like super duper expense? And it sucks. Cause I want to make a good deal, but then you really can't. So let's make a big blockbuster deal that can improve our team entirely. So we need a pitching, uh, a starting pitcher for sure. That's something that I am going to be prioritizing big time for this team. And we could go after someone like Chris Sale. Hopefully, he can lower his standards and stuff like that. Uh, for how expensive he wants to be as a pitcher. Uh, oh, Freddie Freeman, fucking Christ. Oh, my Lord, that would be such a great hitter for us. So we're really, we're going to go out there. Let's just sim the arbitration. Uh, so let's just get Kevin Gosman goes to the Twins. Michael Baez goes to the Clevenger, goes to the Twins. Okay, there we go. Let's see, a free agency. Did these guys lower down their, their wants? 11.5. Freddie Freeman, how much do you want to be a DH I think uh, we could definitely make some moves here, man. I think we could definitely make some big-time moves. And th let's make some big trades here first for the Toronto Blue Jays. First up, Tyler O'Neill, $25 million. That's going to definitely clear up a lot of uh, cap space for us to go out there and do some other shit. So MLB-ready players. We're also going to be trading away... Um, fuck, what's his face? Tyler Rogers as well to clear up some more cap space. So Ronald Guzman... We're practically going to be looking, let's, let's do our own due diligence here. So let's look at a pitcher that's like, fucking Christ, why do they have so many goddamn pitchers? Hey, they got the money, man. Fucking, they got the money. That's that's the problem with a lot of those teams. They got the money and we don't. And that's going to be um, a big problem for a lot of us smaller teams is we do not got the money and we can't go out there and get the type of players that they have. Michael Baez, oh my god, cheap contract. 50. He didn't play He didn't play too bad last year. That's a cheap contract. I mean, I would definitely just pick him up. Just not even Tyler O'Neill-wise. Unless you have some, like, all-star guys to pick up uh, otherwise in the left field. But, yeah, they, they, you're going to have to spend a pretty penny to go after one of those guys. But I would definitely just go after... Um, Michael Baez and just pick him up with Tyler O'Neill. How much is it going to cost? Oh, yeah, it's going to cost a lot. He's an A fucking prospect, so yeah, it's going to cost a lot. Uh, Dominique, go. Um, nobody there. You're all caught, and that's a lot of expensive pitchers. Cal Coltrell. I mean, he's not too bad. He's not anything special. A potential Mike Phillips. Right handed, though, so. Brian Mana, Nate Pearson. He had a pretty rough year. Uh, Brad Braddy Singer, not a bad year from him. Eric Luer, which was a guy that we were going to look up at 10.5, is not the type of guy that I'm looking for. I'm looking for a left-handed pitcher right now, man. That's what I'm looking for right now. 
a left-handed pitcher that can really change up the, the way that we look at this team. Lewis Linden, 666 last year. He really struggled as a starting pitcher for them, but he's a developing guy. So, I mean, we could really go after a young guy here, but we need someone that can prove themselves as a guy that can really be a devastating pitcher. Matthew Libator, but he has no contract. Awesome. Terrific. Loving it. Uh, we need someone that's in the mid-tiers of being good. Dave, oh, fucking Christ, everyone. Where's the fucking pitchers, man, here that we can pick up, bro? Jay Groom. There we go. Jay Groom, 84 overall, a 4 ERA. He was a beast last year for the Houston Astros. That's someone to look at. And, I mean, 27 years old, he's not bad. And then we can still go out there and improve the team. Um, And otherwise, ah, uh, shit. And then you kind of just get, well, Nicholas Castilios, how many years? Two years at 8.9? I mean, it's not terrible. But yet, it's not the best. I think we could find a, maybe a better team, but we're going to keep that in mind. The Houston Astros is a team to keep in mind. Colby Allroad, California boy. He had a 3.71 ERA. He had a really good year for the Houston uh, for the Atlanta Braves, kind of stepping up as one of their 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 big time pitchers. He is 1.4. He's 74 overall. And then oh shit, the Braves. Uh, and then what did they got for the outfielders? They got Ronald Acana Jr., $10 million. Holy shit, that's a lot of money. Billy Hamilton, which is going to, he's going to probably drop off. And then you really don't got anyone there. You got Mookie Betts for 35. How many years has he got left? Oh, just two more years. So he really got locked up, but he's going to kind of drop off from there. Uh, Trevor Richards, no one there. Sean Manea, he's really proved himself as a lethal pitcher in the major leagues. Uh, Barack, he's up there with the Washington Nationals, so good for him. Um. Ooh, David Peterson, left-handed pitcher, 382 ARA. I feel like that's just a little low for an overall, though, for me. I feel like we could definitely find someone better. This is a guy that we could possibly pick up, but like I'm saying, we're looking for left-handers, and we just found two of them, and two great contracts. So Jojo Ramiro and Yunel de los Santos, 89 overall and 86 overall. That is a cheap. And then we can, do you guys got like a good left fielder that we could pick up? Trevor Janowski, no. Frank U, Franco Cadorio, great contact hitter. He's not bad at fielding. Bryce Harper, you got Garcia. Great contact hitter, not too bad a fielder. I mean, we need someone better. I mean, who do we got for power hitters, right? Don David, I mean, he could hit you good 20 home runs if it's a good year. Philip Irvin, he's kind of like your replacement of... Tyler O'Neill. I feel like we definitely need that DH, though. But that's what we're going to look at Freddie Freeman for. Lourdes Corral Jr., he really turned out to be a good time fucking hitter once he left us, man. He struggled with us and then fucking really started performing in the last couple of years. So I think if we go after someone like a uh, Godorio, who's... I mean, we need a good fielder, though. That's something that I'm really wanting to look at. And this is the type of player that you can really kind of Push behind as a good player. I mean, he haven't had that great of a chance, but we're going to give him a great chance in that outfield to be a good outfielder. And if he could also hit that ball, I mean, that's 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 something that I'm going to be looking for. What's his war? Quick question. I mean, it's not been the best. How about him? How has he been uh, with his war? That He's been fucking bloody brilliant. 34 years old, between a 31, but 3.1. When are we going to go out there and afford some other players? I mean, uh, I don't know, man. That's that's a tough decision. Carnate, you could go after this guy, but that, that kind of like leaves you handicapped with how much money you have to spend then. So you really can't go after him. Condorio, I mean, he has great contact. And I think we could really trust him as being one of our guys. And he's not bad at hitting, and he's not that bad. Oh, fuck, it's... I think what we could do here is maybe oh they need they need budget they have budget constraints oh so they can't even take this deal because they don't got enough money ah oh, god damn it okay we're gonna have to look at someone that can really take that kind of contract I guess eh ah oh, fucking hell man that that sucks because I would have totally made that deal but they can't take it. Oh, man, they, they had two great pitchers as well. That, that was a huge... Man, how well has Marcus Stroman been doing since he went to the left? 
Texas, I mean, it has been off and on, kind of doing good some years, doing bad other years. Oliver Leon, I mean, uh, check out him. Right-hander, though, Grant Holmes, right-hander. Uh, Jose De Leon, he fucking jumped up. How well did he do at the end of the year? Probably better than fucking what we got in return, for fuck's sakes. Uh, two mil, I mean, we're not going to pick him back up. That's just a kind of a not a thing you do. You don't pick Jesus Lasardo. Cool. Ryan Weathers, left-hander. How well, 339 this year. He wasn't a bad guy, 26 years old, but they can't do the trade. Could uh, do well. How much Ryan Withers, and then what do you guys got for like a left fielder that I can pick up, or like somebody? Yeah, I mean, you guys really don't got anyone that I'm willing to pay for, um, money wise. Uh, the Orioles, yeah, now we're kind of back on the the kind of the paint here of looking at other players. So we were looking at. Michael Bay, I know who we were looking at here quickly. We're already hitting the 30 mark, Jesus Christ. Uh, Brady Singer, no. We were looking at Romero, no. Uh, which team were we looking at? Was it Jay Groom? Yeah, the Houston Astros, right, with Jay Groom. But they can't do it because due to budgetary constraints with Castilios. Or not, yeah, with Castilios. Yeah, they they still can't do it though. I mean, con he's a great fucking contact hitter for two years. I mean, that's not bad at all. Uh, and then we would get like, yeah, I think that would totally fucking work for us. Yeah, they can't do it though. Fucking hell, man. The one time we find like some sort of a good deal that works for us, we can't do it because of budgetary uh, budgetary constraints. So I guess it's Colby Allroad after all with the uh, the Braves. I think that's the guy that we're gonna be picking up here. Uh, who can we pick up and return here? Uh, fuck, like, there's no one. Unless we go after Polka, who can fucking smack that ball, man. And, I mean, he's bad at fielding. That's kind of the problem I'm going to have with that, is he's really bad at fucking fielding. Oh, this is rough, man. I think we might have to do, like, a three-way deal. And in that, that we're going to be going to the Braves, picking up Polka, right? Picking up Polka and then picking up Colby Elroyd. Which we'll do. We'll, we'll give you guys a little bit of uh, extra than Kyle Cody. So Kyle Cody, Tyler O'Neill, and then we'll pick up Daniel Polka and Kobe Elroyd. There we go. And then we will pick up a left fielder in return to go after someone that can be someone good for us. Fielding wise, because we need that good protection for us. And um, I think we got him. Cabby Guerrero. I want someone younger though. Someone younger and someone just that can overall be a little bit cheaper uh, for the team this year. Uh, let's see what we can find in that left field position. I know I'm making the video very, very long, but it's going to be a very, very long off season. Uh, we are going to be really, really making this team the best team that we can possibly make it this year. So Will Myers, I mean, that's a lot of money for a guy like him, though. Uh, I don't know if we're going to find anyone left fielder wise. Bill McKinney. Um, yeah, there's barely anyone that, like, you can really go out there and pick up for, like, dirt cheap. See, Frankie Cordero, he wasn't that bad, but he was, wasn't that great at fielding. Uh, 5.5 for Kirill Marte. He not bad, but his arm accuracy is shit, so that's not someone I really want to get. Uh, George Valerio. Oh, that is someone that I'm looking at. 25 years old, great fielder. That is someone that I will definitely go after. 680k, perfect amount of money. Daniel Polka eyes right up with him. Uh, we could probably even pick up like another guy in return. So George Valeria, who is looking, I mean, his contact wise, I mean, it's it's decent. But you take a look that he has a 76, 276 ERA, three, 13 home runs, 54 over eyes. He was a decent hitter for the um, Diamondbacks. Unless we can find someone else that can help the team out this year. I mean, who else would be in that that price range of being so fucking great like him? Um, I mean, he kind of takes my heart away right there, man. He's cheap. It's the, yeah. I mean, we'll go right back to him. I think that's the type of player that we're going to be picking up here. He's a perfect player. George Valeria. That's the type of deal we're going to be making. Boom, bada, bing. 
There is the team for this year. We're still going to make some deals, though. So Joe Musgrove, Tristan McKenzie, you got Kobe Elroyd. We're going to pick up another pitcher, Johnny Denny. I, I don't think we're going to be playing him this year. Either that or we're going to trade him. Eric Berdino is going to be a guy that we're going to be looking at. Uh, Bullpen-wise, we got Paul Fry. We're looking good there. We're going to have to get rid of Taylor Rogers as well uh, to give us some more budget, uh, which is what we're going to do here quickly. Get rid of Paul Rogers because we don't need him on the team. Or not MLB. We'll go after some prospects here. And we'll pick up a couple guys. We're not going to trade them to... Um, yeah, let's do that. Sure. Three players is fine with me. And then we are going to be doing some signings. So, who do we need on the team? So, we got a great relief pitching core from what it looks like. We could, we could definitely use a starting pitcher. Uh, catching wise, we're good. Kevin the Valley, we got. We need uh, a um, what's it? What you may call it? Uh, left fielder, we just got George Valeria. Uh, we can use a DH and a starting pitcher. That's what we're going to be going for. Okay, so Freddie Freeman is the first guy that we're going to go after and sign for a year. He's going to be our big time DH of a player. So twelve million dollars for Freddie Freeman. And not just that, we're going to go after our boy Chris Hale. He will be our starting pitcher this year. Hopefully, he can be a great pitcher for us. We're also going to be paying him. Uh, we're going to go $13 million. Hopefully, he will sign that. And he's going to be coming to, hopefully, a great championship team. Freddie Freeman coming to the Blue Jays. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. And Chris Sale are coming. And Tyler O'Neill. we broke. I think we're breaking headlines right now. Look at this team. Moosegrove, Sale, McKenzie, Alroyd, and then Perdino. Fry, Garcia, Pajon, Egan, Stockton, Aguana, Keith, Reese McGuire, Will Banfield, Freddie fucking Freeman will be our DH for Christ's sakes this year with Kevin LaValle. And then you got Fernando Zuma, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Bichette. Uh, you're going to have fucking George Valerio, Don David, Philip Irvin. This team is looking better than ever. I got to say so myself. We got a new coach. And what's his face? Aaron Boone, who's been to the championship before, he's going to be leading this team to hopefully uh, a championship for the first time. And hopefully not like last year where we missed the playoffs, we can actually mi uh, make it to the playoffs this year. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Adios, amigos.